I used to hate getting up in the morning knowing that I would have to interact with those two. To this day, I'm deeply, deeply traumatised just for having been around him. Is it wrong to feel hate? Hate towards the two boys? Is it wrong? I don't know. But it is understandable. It's difficult to do these interviews. I wasn't principal at the time. I didn't even live in this town. But obviously I was aware of what happened. The entire school, the entire community, the whole country was petrified of those two. There's a healing process. It takes time. It's not easy. I mean, you had the outsiders, then those outside the outsiders, and then you had these two outside of those who were outside the outsiders. With a population of just over 17,000, Kilshamrock is one of Ireland's larger towns. It lies 37 kilometres north of Lurgan City on Ireland's west coast. The town was founded in 1557 and like most other towns and cities in this nation has seen throughout its history famine, floods, uprisings, rebellions, poverty, prosperity, peace and violence. In its recent history, however, few events have stood out more than the attack on St. Spoofer's Park. Yeah, just um, just being in Kilshamrock now, just entering the town, I can almost smell the, the toxic masculinity in the air. Shane Smiggy O'Rourke is a former classmate of the two boys in question. He's now employed as a social worker in Kilshamrock and has achieved the respect of his community by going on to pursue education. Well, I think like both of us, you know, we've been to, you know, college, we've, you know, studied a lot. I think we're both quite enlightened and, you know, we're both enlightened enough to see that men are vile pigs. Now, obviously, like being as highly educated as I am, I, I know you know, social segregation. Uh, segregation. Is not right, okay? But them two lads, they just weren't right in the head. Speaking to a man as educated as McGee was an eye opening experience, and I'm glad to say that I learned a lot. Schmiggy then took me down to a local site known as the Pier of Horror, a site of running battles between British warships and U boats during the First World War and also a regular drinking spot for the area's youth. Oh yeah, they'd be down here and all them lads. Uh, this is where they'd be, you know, with all their friends kind of like drinking. They, know, they'd like. be gots, wouldn't they? Got? What, 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 what? Do you know like fellas, do you know, white faces and, and like dressed with trench coats and all that? Oh, that was them, yeah, yeah. That was, that, that's exactly what they were like them Yeah, lads. yeah, I'd say down that was them, all right, them. Yeah, yeah. You see all this now, yeah? Yeah. That was then. So, this all of this damage would have been done on the one night? Oh, absolutely. They completely trashed the place. One night is all it took them. Myself and Smiggy then parted ways as he informed me that he intended to go off and further improve and pursue his educational credentials. I then went to talk to prominent local author John J. Tapper. Tapper's books on local history, politics and the goth culture's place in the modern societal dynamic have sold well throughout Kilshamrock and beyond. 
and have appeared in the recommended lists of three of the nation's four leading newspapers. It was, to say the least, a sobering discussion. Now, in your award-winning book, Temper, Torture, Terror, Thunder, How Russian Hackers Are Helping Brexit, Trump and Goths Wipe Out Mankind, you go into this threat in extreme detail. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being very scared, 10 being, you know, petrified, where should we be now? I don't know, 15? Take the worst nightmare you've ever experienced, multiply that by a thousand, and you're on the right track. After talking to Mr. Tapper, I felt compelled to visit what's known locally as the Park of Death, a suspected goth hangout. It was an eerie place to visit, deeply unsettling. Run, 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 run! Turn it up! Turn up the camera! After our near-death experience at the Park of Death, my cameraman decided to take six months paid leave in order to seek counselling. It was an emotional time. I decided to publish a Facebook post describing how tough this experience has been and how sometimes I feel like no one cares about me. I received 36 likes, 40 heart emojis, 29 care emojis and 6 tear emojis, as well as numerous supportive comments. Satisfied with that, I decided to carry on. I visited a local woodland which had been frequented by the two boys. While there, I encountered a visiting student and decided to get her take on the attack. Okay, so do you mind me asking you what your name is? Yeah, of course. I'm um, Clara. Hi. Okay, and welcome to Shamrock. Thank you very much. How do you how do you find the place? Um, I like it. Just a bit rainy, but otherwise, yeah, of course, it's nice. very good, very good. And um, what are you what are you doing here exactly? Um, I'm studying here. I'm doing my master thesis here. Okay, that's uh, that's very interesting. Nice one. That's good. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, which city are you from originally, Clara? I'm from Berlin. Oh, Berlin. Very nice. And do you have Goths in Belgium? Uh, Germany. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we do have Goths in Berlin. And would Goths be connected in any way to a crime culture in Berlin? Yes, basically. I guess so. Maybe. No, Lara. Since oh, it's you... Clara. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, since you've been in Kilshamrock, you'll have noticed that there is a strong goth culture in this town. Yeah, um, what is your What is your opinion on goths? They're okay. I mean, I just see them. I don't really know them. So, they're fine, I think. Do you totally trust them, like? Uh, I wouldn't say that, but... Exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah. And finally, Clara, do you feel that in this town there is an impending sense of doom and horror enveloping the place? Sure. Whatever. But I really gotta go. Back to okay. my work now, so... Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Clara was obviously very nervous and reluctant to talk about this issue. Which is strange, because she struck me as the type of person who never shuts up talking rubbish. She must have been very scared. There's a lot of anger in young men today. This can manifest itself in many different ways. It can sometimes emerge in the form of depression. Other times, they can bottle it up and then lash out violently. An ominous thing is happening to young men in Ireland. <laughs> An ominous thing is happening to young men in Ireland? I mean, how do you explain Conor McGregor's press conferences then? All these young Irish lads jumping around and happy and cheering and smiling and all that. Are you telling me that they're depressed? <laughs> Rubbish.